Hello everyone, my name is Rumat and today we're going to do a complete jungle tutorial for Talia similar to the last video that I have posted for mid lane. So we're going to talk about the... obviously we're not going to talk about these spells because you get smite and flash every time but we're going to go over runes, we're going to go over builds, uh, spells, micro, macro, max order, combos Mostly combos are the same as the last video, but we're going to discuss everything that you need in order for you to play better with Tulia in the jungle. Now, one of the most important things probably that you have to do uh, is to actually know which match matchups win and you have to understand where is your best opportunity to gank. Also, as a Tulia jungle, you have to learn how to manage your camps. So you gotta get that blue buff as fast as you can most of the time because starting red will drench out of mana and if they steal it well you have a problem you also gotta understand how to play with vision control and which lanes are the best to actually gank <laughs> now if we look at our team comp at six i can definitely get some kills with malzahar and before that my teammates don't really have that much cc spells besides maybe just the karma and they do have an aphelios yumi bot lane okay please don't reset wait 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 Ooh, it didn't reset okay. So uh, what I want to do is maybe to go towards wolves and then keep pushing towards red and move towards top after that. I think I'm gonna use my first mind here. Okay. Trying to get the Qs right. Good. Pushing up. Small Q. Okay. Now we're moving towards the red, we're gonna kite it a bit. I started E level 2, some people play with W, and we're going to start talking about runes in a second. Now I don't fear invades from Zack, because well, he's a Zack, we're pretty good. But what I do fear is that his ganks will outmatch mine, since he has a built in 60 spell, which is more likely to hit than my W. So that's a factor that we have to consider as well. And so, our first game will probably navigate or gravitate towards either mid or uh, either mid or bot as we are in this area. Okay, waiting for the E, doing an auto attack, okay. Now, these camps actually heal you when you use E on them, so I've seen that tip on Reddit Tulia mains, it's a fairly important tip. And as you can see, I'm not really getting that much damage on top of my head, and so we can actually move towards... Uh, these zones. I'm not using the plant, I just want a word here and then maybe consider using... He has no... okay, he has word here. Maybe consider using a... a gank on uh, that castle. Sorry, I got spaced out a bit. Now, I don't see their Atrox. Okay, I see now the Atrox. I do have the movement speed from that. I can just back off, it's fine. They had the word there. They knew, they see me on the... On that, okay, wait. This, this still probably... This still probably can kill me if I'm not careful, but... I can just move around here and... Okay. Talk a little more that custom so I can move towards the bot side. I don't think the Zack reached it yet, I don't think he will. And so he's in the top side getting his stuff. I'm getting this. We're going to talk, I promise, about runes in a second. Uh, I used the flash there, but it's fine. It's really, really fine. That cousin put a good word. You gotta be careful on that though. And so I'm not going bot here, although it's tempting. I don't have flash and I'm not really comfortable going here. What I can do is get this as the first part of my itemization and then well they're actually winning okay and then let's move towards the top lane as they probably fight a lot and now for runes let's go for for that real quick dark harvest chip shot eyeball collection ravenous hunter nimbus Claw, water walking rune stats are these and you've seen how important was actually having nimbus cloak and water walking in that scenario as i just run away it's like i had a face rush which is fascinating because you just live more, and <laughs> I really recommend for you to try these runes. Also for items, obviously you go for the AP jungle item, and then move towards other stuff such as an orb. In this context we're gonna make Morello Nomicons, as they have a Yumi, and also Cassidy and Atrox that everyone 
literally everyone in their team heals a lot. Now we're gonna notice if he backs off, he did. Backing off instantly, it's a good sign that they've seen you offer a reward. You don't stay in that bush hoping they will come, so just be careful to that. Now, we've talked, we've talked about two important things, rules and we talked about builds. Obviously incorporate after some time Rabadon's and okay, I'm coming. That. Okay, last fire. But he has no. He has no uh, teleport, so I can just push. Getting this farm in opportunistic ways actually helps you a lot because you get that level, that sweet, sweet level advantage that you kind of need in this season to, you know, to push ahead in levels towards the enemy jungle. And uh, that sentence made no sense. Now I can get this here. It's free plant and actually move towards you. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay. That was very simple. That will not be too bad. Good job on the karma for hitting her CC spell. They don't they didn't have a flash from the previous fight. We capitulated on that, we did fine. Now I need to keep an eye on mid lane. Because Cassidy is 6 now and he can actually be a little more dangerous. And so I need to help him in the Zack gangs that are about to come. And I can go mid now because I have a good opportunity towards that lane. I do have I do have the blue buff. I have a ward here. I'm pretty good in this context. the kill there that's why I backed off a bit uh, about Drake control you want to get it only only if you have a free Drake so no extreme stuff now here I need to be careful because if Zack wants to like did here okay now that was a bad W back off Cassidy is missing I'm backing off so that I have my cooldown and I'll be fine. Okay, so we talked. Oops. Are they, are, is the custody coming? It's probably coming here. Okay, never mind. And they, they will be fine right now. I can recall it's no problem. Probably Zach backed off. And even if he didn't back off, Yumi is 5. So he's not real, not real threat right now. So we're doing good. I need to get another vision word here because the Cassidy spotted it. Also, my teammates should buy Vision Wards as well. And we're moving towards this side of the jungle to farm a little bit more. We're having the lead in the ganks. And top lane don't our top laner just died, so we have to consider. This is a lot of macro talk, by the way. I said I will talk about macro. This is the most part of the video because roaming, uh, sorry, jungling is mostly macro knowledge. And so on some champions, such as point and click CC champions, I don't know examples right now, but in that part, the most, the best thing you gotta do is understand macro and win at that part, because if you don't, I can't help you right now to get this, if you don't understand macro, you don't really should play as a jungler, you should play maybe as a, an ADC or a support, because you want to stay on your lane, okay, so I'm gonna Back off. Okay. Shield, shield. Okay. I'm living. I'm living. <laughs> okay. I lived. Oh my god. Karma is a god. If she survives, she survives. She flashed. Dude. I need to recall somewhere like here. Because I'll be dead instantly if I don't. But the good thing is that uh, that Garen got some time off on top lane. So their, their uh, top laner didn't do much here. Maybe got a kill on Karma, but wasted time mostly. And 
we're still good. They lost a lot of resources on this, so we can actually farm and move bot. Because Caitlyn is still here. If they didn't recall, they probably recalled. No, no, they didn't recall. Okay, so this is free. Either this or mid. Somewhere I'm getting a kill. No, I'm bot with this. Because this, this is a simple gank actually here. They spot me. Not sure, but. Probably die. Oh my god, Yumi! <laughs> that was that was a good gank. Yumi getting kills is not a problem if Caitlyn gets ahead. Uh, that was a bad gank because I got the tower shot. That was a good gank in rest, <laughs> so that was the logic. And also, I have my uh, item. I'm gonna get another vision. You can see how much I'm playing towards the vision control. Also, we're gonna farm a bit. This guy's build is interesting. And we need to swap to the red trinket. We didn't swap it yet, but we have to. It's, it's a very important thing to do now. I'm feeding basically my mid laner and top laner, knowing well so well that Garen will be tanky and Garen will deal damage regardless with his ult. So uh, if Atrox gets out of hand, we might need to deal with him. But until then, I need to go here because they are fighting. Me. And that was a very, very bad ult. All should have been 100% on the other dude. I do have here a vision or see now, now he wins. Yeah, I'm not doing much more there, but top laner actually wins now because he farmed a lot. And when he farmed, he got levels, he came back in the game. So, yeah, again, this is mostly macro talk. And while well, I did die once, I do have the level advantage, which is okay. I'm going to the wolves now because I'm waiting for my laners to come back. This guy needs to back off. There is a Yumi on the river which gets the word. I might be able to track her down. No, I don't think so. But there might be some nifty cases where putting a vision word here is actually more helpful. It's impossible from that. But yeah, I'm going to stick around the bot lane a little while. Why? Answer quick if you know. Well, their tower has only one plate and first tower of the game is fairly important. And we're moving towards that. We have also here a vision ward. So we want this tower. Also, I'm thinking my intent. I'm not my intent is not to actually destroy them in the fight. Just, just it though. It's free. It's cool. Well, they got Drake, we got the tower, we got Vantage on this side of the map. Also, I'm not sure how Cassidy... The Maltzar got a double kill here, Jesus. I would have ulted on top of him. I'm a bit scared that I'm about to get murdered by a nasty ult. You see, he, he wants that, okay? He wants, he so wants that. <laughs> Okay, that's why I backed off because I knew Caitlyn was about to come, but nah, we don't miss that. Also, this would be a good point to take some more towers like this one, or move towards my red jungle and Herald. That's the next target onto the list. And there is a Zach that's about to jump on us. Back off. Back off, I cannot defend you. I do have a vision where I need to get rid of. There should have kept it towards the drake, but I moved towards the top side, and so we play around a bit here. So if we are in this zone, we need to. If I want to get herald, for example, okay, okay, we are delicious. and we get a double kill here. I have flashed. The same moment, at the same moment that that Mazar, damn it. And we can actually move towards other buffs. Now, Garen did fine. Garen actually stood a bit on top lane, and well, there Cassidy is here. Hey, they could actually jump on us here and kill us. 
I don't think we can do Drake here with the Cassidy. So I'm just gonna say that we got the back off. And we move towards this. We, do, we actually have to rest it first. That's weird. We no longer fight, guys. We back off. It's kinda hard, kinda hard to train them because I think they start fighting there. And that was extremely stupid. But all the good, all the, <laughs> all the bad things for the good ones. Zach is low HP now, and I can easily take Drake. But they shouldn't have fought there. That was pointless, especially when your Talia is back. Also, Mazahar is ahead. I am ahead as well, and I do have my smite. I do have my spy, but I cannot use it as the Cassidy will just. Okay, I'm backing off, backing off. I missed that, but it's fine. Get another kill here, and, and this guy, yeah, we won. I don't have smite, I don't have smite, I don't have smite. I don't have smite! With the vision works, so he has no idea when to jump. time to use this might though but yeah we are now having about 75 kill participation which you should have as a good jungler if you are one you should be on top of most kills but you also should consider not becoming so behind in the farm and so as you can see not only I'm having a, a high farm rate uh, I have higher farm than their jungler I also have a high kill participation so those two things combined are very important also you need to know when you need to farm and when you need to fight so i fought when there was the drake i fought when there my team gathered and caught someone or had the moment that to take this tower and so around objectives not in arams fights not in random stuff also you need to time precisely your camps and also if you want to be the best jungler uh man you gotta you gotta actually track the enemy jungler which is a very difficult thing to do if you're not a main but it's a very rewarding thing to do. And so I lost this cuddle. Also my blue buff, I hate when someone takes my blue buff because I'm... Okay, we got it, we got it. I would have got him, but this guy stole it. Also, as you can see, we're catching up people. We're doing our part on that. And Caitlyn is going to die here, but we need this hero to actually secure faster trades, faster objectives, sorry, and that will actually carry us. Now, it would be funny if Atrox came, comes here instead of going mid, but I expect, fully, I fully expect Atrox to come. And I know he sees me, but he's on mid lane, it's fine. My team should just back off on mid lane now, because it's okay, it's cool. I'm getting a buff, an important objective, and I'm coming mid with it. <laughs> okay, so we got also here. We got also here this uh, objective, and Garen is extremely strong right now. I think we can just connection point because this is why you want. Uh, this herald to actually get not only outer towers, turrets, but also well based towers like that. And Cassidy just jumps in us. As you can see, we can just rush the ending. And well, <laughs> that was it. That was a very fast ending. I did not expect, sorry, to end the game that fast. And the tutorial is now shorter because of that. But remember, we talked about items, we talked about runes, we talked about macro a lot. There are a lot of factors that we can talk about in depth. So if you're interested in that, ask me in the comments or I will make another video. But generally, you should be present on the map. If you watch if you watch the challenger, Talia means that they're actually playing on Korea or something. They are doing well because they are behind the fact that they know how to survive very well because in most matchups you're going to struggle if they are hard matchups such as Rek'Sai, such as I don't know, maybe even Lee Sin, Elise, if early game junglers I mean 
those are difficult matchups for Tulia mains because well they are quite strong champions against you and against most others but if you really want to play you gotta understand how to survive how to path precisely and then you gotta also gank or counter gank if you counter gank you have much more chances if your top laner doesn't die instantly from the gank that just happened or the mid laner part. these are just some tips the video ended i know that but i tried to give a little bit more right now and i hope these tips help you and i'll do probably more videos with Leah and i really hope those are useful so see you next time guys and good luck in your solo queue experience or wherever you play and goodbye guys see you next time